Hello and welcome to Worthington University. My name is Joel DeYoung and today we are tuning in for part 4 of 4 of our Window Shade series. Now that we've talked about what window shades are and the different options that we have, what we're going to go over today here is what we have to do and what we have to get in order to get a proper quote for the shades for your customer. Now the first thing we're going to want to mention is one of the one of six things that we're going to mention here is how we're going to power the shades. Now here you see we don't have a shade in this window right now so what we have to do is determine whether we can run a hardwired shade or whether we're going to go with a battery operated shade. Of course we're going to always want to recommend doing a hardwired shade if we have that option and if we're in pre-construction then that's the ideal way to do it but if we have a finished wall and the customer's not too savvy on uh, you tearing out the sheetrock or even pulling wires um, then the battery operated way is, is the way to go. Now, once we determine how to power the shades, of course, we're going to want to look at where we're going to mount it. Now, of course, we're going to mount it on the window, but there's two options of where exactly on the window that we're going to mount it. One would be an inside mount, which will go inside the window frame, and that will kind of be, a, you know, it wouldn't be protruding from the wall like the outside mount would be. Now, the outside mount will be on the face of the window frame as well. So um, we're going to want to determine whether the customer wants inside or outside mount. All right, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the, the dimensions so that we know where to mount the shape. Um, now, what we want to do here for this, we're going to pull out our handy dandy measuring tape. We're going to take three different measurements um, of the height so that uh, we pretty much get a, a good idea of where the, the window stands. So we're going to get one on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left. And then of course we're going to want to do this for the width as well. So one on the bottom, one in the middle, one on the top. We're going to take the longest, the longest height and the, the, the narrowest width basically to make sure that the window is not uh, you know, hitting the, the bottom too soon and that it's not hitting the sides either. We're going to want to make sure that you got a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, to make the, the window move. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to go over is choosing the right fabric. Of course, your customer is going to have a big say in this. Uh, it is going into their home and they're going to be trying to match it, of course, possibly with uh, different furniture and things in the room. So we're just going to want to consult them. Now, when it comes to fabric, it can be pretty intimidating, but uh, I can assure you that it isn't. Um, one thing we're going to have to look at is the different resources that we have, like our fabric books that we've um, in included in our videos here, and uh, of course the tech support that we would provide as well. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to decide if there's any extra products. Um, Different, different hardware that we have as an option. Um, just for some examples, basically, um, we could have pockets for the roller shades. Basically, we'll go, go and roll up into a pocket, uh, kind of hidden, recessed in the window frame. Um, another option would be basically rails, if you wanted a complete blackout. Um, what these rails would do is hold the, uh, the, the shade tight to the side so that you don't get any light filter, you know, filtering through the edges there. And, um, you know, things like that. Um, Another thing would be, uh, you know, the fascia for, for roller shades, that's a fairly common one. Um, that would basically go across the front of the roller so that it doesn't look like a big roll in your window there. And then the last but not least, um, what we would really appreciate you doing is pulling out your phone there, just taking a quick picture of the window. Um, I know that some windows are a little bit different than others, so we definitely want to make sure that we have an idea of what that is. Um, you, we always want to know what different style windows you have here. You know, of course, this is just a, a casement window, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. But um, w whether that be a crank window or a different style windows, we just want to make sure that we have a good idea of what we're actually doing there for you. Now, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to Worthington University for our Window Shades series. Uh, I'd like to thank you from Worthington Distribution. My name is Joel DeYoung, and if you have any questions or concerns for us, please feel free to give us a call. Our number is 800-282-8864, and the email that you can send it in to is sales at worththis.com, and we hope to hear from you soon.